Hello everyone, this is Mr. Crease and today welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how to make a plant in Creator 2020.4. First, we're going to create an element, which will be the plant type. And we're going to be calling this the eternal flower. There we go, we're going to choose the plant texture. It is just this default texture I have. And also you can choose whether it is going to be static like a flower or a growable plant. Like, um, let's see, like sugar can. I'm going to keep this just like this. We go to properties, we have decorations, um, which is where our creative tab is going to be, name, you have the plant color on the map, we have this a default, um, I recommend you to have default actually, harness and resistance, I recommend that you keep this at default, and blocks out, I recommend that you change this to plant, luminance, this is how much it glows, and glowstone is one, if it is higher than one, um, it will either crash if it's too high, or it will does not glow at all, or it will glow the same as glowstone, which is one. Plant type now is where this is actually gets pretty important now. Um, plains means it grows on grass. Desert and beach means it grows on sand. Cave means it grows on dirt. Water means it will not be destroyed by water and also grows on dirt. Nether means it grows on soul sand, and crop means that it is like wheat and it, you can actually grow it with bone meal, and it has multiple stages. Next, we have a mist of rendering, which is a glow. Um, I recommend that you keep. I recommend that you keep force plant ticking at at nothing. Is plant unbreakable like bedrock, and is plant replaceable like snow? Next, we have plant flammability. Wood or logs have a flammability of five, and planks have a flamm flammability of twenty. I recommend that you leave fire spreading speed at zero for vanilla handling. Next we have cryptic item, leave this a default. AI path node type, I recommend that you leave this a default. And also random model offset, I recommend that you keep this at XZ or none, because XZ means that it'll, um, that it'll have a bit of randomness um, to where it is placed exactly on the block. None means it'll be the exact center, and XYZ means I'll have the full 16 pixels to go around, actually not the full 16 pixels, it will have all three dimensions just to be randomized, so you can have your plant floating in air, which I don't recommend. And also you have has tile entity. Um, if you want to have enable only if you want to use MBT data with this, MBT tabs with this plant, so I recommend that you do not enable this. I'm going to skip triggers because we're not going to have any special things with the plant. We can go to generation. Spawn frequency on chunk, chunks is not how many individual plants or flowers you have, but the patches. So this is what this means. Spawn in these dimensions. I'm going to change this to my custom dimension. As well as the biome restrictions. So I'm going to choose these other biomes right here. Which I wanted to spawn in. And there we go. So that is how you make your plants. And I will quickly show you the generation in game. And as you can see. We have our plants naturally generating. So this right here is actually my custom dimension. I did a devlog on it. This right here is our eternal flowers. So yeah, bees spawn uh, pretty frequently. And also, of course, we also have vanilla flowers, because I also love these. Um, because this was just my dimension. Um, all you should really pay attention to are the eternal flowers. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this tutorial. If you and if you did enjoy it, um, it would be appreciated if you were to leave a like. We are very close to 300 subscribers, so we would greatly appreciate it if you were to subscribe. See you guys the next time, and goodbye guys.